Hey everyone, I was asked to create, show you how to create like a pre-programmed Desmos calculator, and so that's what I'm going to do. I, I have a whole bunch of these uh, that I've created for my classroom just to use, uh, since they don't have TI Inspire. I know they can download different sets, but I did this way back, uh, really I did most of these last school year, uh, before that was available to students. And so I'm going to walk you through how to do this. So normally when you go to Desmos, and you open it up, you just get a blank graph like this. And what I've done is I've programmed all this stuff in here and saved the graphs and I've shared the link. So this is how I'm going to do it. So let's say uh, you wanted to do a, um, I don't know, like a regression. And so you can do research on uh, anything with Desmos to figure out what are the buttons to do so. But on for a regression, you're going to use this little key and you'll type in the equation as you want to find. So like y equals mx plus b. Now right now it's not working because with regression if you read up on it you'll learn you'll have to for the y and x variables have to put y1 and x1. So I'm going to start there. So I have y uh, from statistics a lot of times they'll say this gets y1 gets mx plus b. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to create a table. And so the way to do a table is you hit the settings and uh, oh that's not it. Hit the plus. I'm sorry. Plus table. And I'm going to name my variables here x1 and y1. And so now if you start typing in values, this should come up with a regression. Let's just say we have 2 and 1. I'll make my slope be 2, so that means this needs to be a, f excuse me, when my x is 3, this should go up two spots. When my x is 4, this should go up two spots. My x is 5, and so on and so forth. Now, uh, as you do this, I messed up. There we go. Uh, I got a 7 there. It, up here, it's telling you your equation m is 2 and my b is negative 3. And if you look over here, it shows not only the line in red, but it shows the points I put in in purple. Now, all this you can change by hitting the settings. You can click the color and change it. You can select that you can, if you want to do this as lines, you can do that as lines. Uh, if you wanted to be able to drag the points and change the equation as you go, you can change all that in there in those settings. So again, you click on the settings, you click that, and you can change whatever settings you want. You could also click this one, change it whatever type uh, line you want it to look like, change some colors, things of that nature. Um, so in this case, I'll leave that there. I'll turn these points back on, because right now I accidentally turned them off. Whoops, I accidentally duplicate. I wanna hit this, and I want the points on. I don't know why they disappeared, there they go. And so they're back on. So that's how you could program this. Now here's what the key is. You have to create a username so you can save this. And once you, uh, so let's just say I titled this uh, linear regression. What you'll do is you'll hit save and it'll save. These three little lines, you, you can see all the different graphs I've created. Um, I've just, you know, I don't know, done a lot of things that my pre-cal students might need to see. If they're dealing with rotations and they want to take out the rotation of a conic, there that is. Uh, that was actually my, uh, I've done dot product, I've done all kinds of things. So you can open up and this way you can write down notes to tell students what they're doing so that they can come up with their graphs at home or when they're doing homework. So again, that's how you do it. And so once you hit that save, um, here we go, I'll open this back up. You hit save, you can come over here to the share button in the top right. I'm going to click that. It'll come up with a link. You can either copy the link or if you want to embed it, you can hit that embed button and it'll tell you to embed it. Now, why might you want to embed it? It would look something like this. So I just copied this right here. I hit control C to copy. What I'm going to do is I'll come over here to our, um, I don't know if you use your PowerSchool website. And I'm going to go to my e-portfolio. So like if you looked me up um, through the Power School Learning, you could come over and see my little website and you went to Desmos Graphs, you'll see all these different links here. And I have embedded them. And what embed means is it's more than just a link. You actually see the picture or where I last left off the graph. And so you could come here and if you want to post what I just put in there, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. Oh wait, no, it's right here. Add a content block. And I'm going to just say a oh, web link, or you can, no, this one I'm going to hit embed the web, because that's what I just typed in. And so uh, if you remember, I had copied this, the embed here. I'm going to embed it next. And it'll ask me 
uh, to write something about it. So we'll call this linear regression. Click here for linear regression. You don't have to do this, but I am. You can add just the normal link here if you wanted to. You just highlight that, hit the link button, and I'm gonna come back over here and just copy the normal link and paste that. And I might have gone a little fast, just hit the rewind button, see what I just did there. And so now I have all this hit save, and what's gonna happen is down at the very bottom of this website, you'll see exactly what we just created. If a student clicks here, here's what's nice for a student, is they'll click that, or the picture, they can either hit the picture or they click here, and it'll pull up on their computer, and they can edit it. However, no matter what they do, no matter what a student does to change these values, they cannot save it because they will not be on your username. Now, I'm different, I'm myself, so obviously if I hit save, it's gonna save this with a different graph. And so uh, the next time they hit that link, it would be different. But for them, they can hit this all they want. They can change these values, and it won't matter. Whenever they hit it the next time, or if they refresh it, it's gonna always pop up to what you last saved it as. So it's just a way to keep them from really screwing up your work and it's always available to them. So hope that's helpful to you.